When I first drove the ZL1, I thought nobody could possibly use a faster Camaro. Chevrolet disagrees. This is the ZL1 1LE. It's the pinnacle of the sixth generation Camaro. What does that mean? It doesn't mean more power, but power is not a ZL1 shortcoming. I mean, horsepower is kind of like money, you can never have enough, but 650 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque is plenty. The 1LE elevates the basic ZL1 through three key areas aerodynamics, tires, and suspension. On the aero front, there's a big wing out back you may have noticed. It creates 80% more downforce versus the regular ZL1 and is balanced by dive planes and a splitter up front. As for tires, the 1LE rides on 19-inch Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3R tires that are 305 30s up front and 325 30s in the rear. They're described as a track and competition tire that's DOT streetable. Streetable. I'm told they can pull 1.1 G's when cornering. Yeah, that feels about right. But really, the biggest 1LE distinction is the suspension. The standard ZL1 uses adaptive magnetorheological dampers that make it fast on the track and livable on the streets. As a track-focused tool, the 1LE uses multimatic dampers featuring spool valves that allowed Chevy to more precisely tune the handling for the track. It's the same technology featured on the previous Camaro Z28 and, incidentally, the Colorado ZR2. Not only is the Multimatic suspension lighter, it's also super adjustable. You can adjust front ride height, select between two camber settings, and there's a three-way adjustable rear stabilizer bar. All of these improvements result in real speed. Take note of Chevy's Nürburgring times. So the 1LE is a notably faster way to circulate a racetrack. Cool, but it's also a little less hospitable on the streets. The suspension incorporates solid mounts, the springs are much stiffer, and there's no automatic transmission, just a Tremec six-speed manual with a shorter fifth and sixth gear. It's hard to tell only driving on a racetrack, but I suspect the 1LE might be a touch intense for the street, or driving to the Sonic drive-thru. Everything about the ZL1 1LE is confidence-inspiring. The steering is direct and immediate, but not darty. We haven't had a chance to drive this back-to-back -back with the regular ZL1, but at high speed, it feels super stable. I think the aerodynamic bits are doing something. Elevating the handling of the ZL1 makes a lot of sense. There was a surplus of power to begin with, and the enhanced handling complements that power so nicely. I think what's amazing about the 1LE is that it's so quick, but it's also just a ton of fun to drive. Like there's serious quick where you feel like your life is imperiled at all moments. And you can certainly imperil yourself if you drive like an idiot, but there's no need to. I think the 1LE is more forgiving than I would have expected. Oh, by the way, and heel toe downshifts, super easy. Loads of grip, loads of power, awesome braking, sweet, sweet sound. Yeah, I'm a fan. Of course, all this capability is best exploited by a proper race car driver, somebody who really knows what they're doing. Okay. Huh. So that's what that looks like. <laughs> uh, I love driving this profession. Bottom line, the ZL1 1LE truly is made for the track. Given its capabilities, the $69,995 asking price, which includes destination charges but not the $1,300 gas guzzler tax, is pretty darn reasonable. So should you buy a ZL1 1LE? A flow chart would be helpful here. Are you the ultimate Camaro fan? Yes. Cool. Do you think your Camaro should live its life on a racetrack? Yes. No. Be honest. There's no shame in buying a regular ZL1. It's staggeringly fast and surprisingly livable. But if you truly want the ultimate Camaro track toy, this is your car.